Siamo qui con Dave Fischwicker, eh, responsabile del team multi-asset di MNG. Good morning. Uh, could you tell us about the approach of the team multi-asset? So the, the approach focuses on what we would call the emotional aspect of, of market behavior. So rather than focusing on uh, analysis of views and forecasting of economics, we try to spot situations in markets where we think emotions and recent experience have caused investors to change their view of the nature of risk. And then we're trying to make money out of the correction in that, which can take short periods of time sometimes, and other periods it can take a bit longer. Okay, and how many funds do you have in your multi-asset team? How many, sorry? How many funds? How many funds? Um, we have a range of funds from uh, defensive through balanced income funds, uh, a growth fund and a, and a go-anywhere type fund, which is kind of a, a, an absolute return hedge fund type strategy. Uh, so there's a range all the way from, from the uh, bottom end of kind of defensive strategies towards more... Uh, equity heavy type growth strategies. Okay, and what do you think is the best way in this moment to approach the markets? Uh, well, a, a major observation we would have at present is the fact that cash rates pretty much everywhere are extremely low. So cash as an asset class has been a, a poor returning asset for a long period of time and looks set to remain that way. So our sense in recent years, and it remains the case today, is that being willing to accept some volatility uh, is, is something that you get paid very well for, particularly still in equity assets. In spite of the fact that they've done well, uh, we think we're kind of overpaid for volatility in equity space. It's currently rather frightening, given the downdrafts in equity prices that you're seeing, but the alternative of, of, of wanting capital preservation and safety leaves you generating no returns in nominal space and after inflation, obviously you're getting negative returns. Bond assets are less attractive than they were too because bond yields have fallen, uh, but even there we do see some pockets of value, particularly in the corporate bond markets. Thank you.